Greetings and salutations, everybody out there in YouTube and Twitch land. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital, and today we're going to do some hunting in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Right now, we are in Medved Taiga, and what I'm doing is looking for a bebop, otherwise known as a wild boar, and uh, I got to kill it to complete this side mission that I'm working on. Been working on it for a while, and, uh, haven't got it quite yet, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get it this time. Last night I streamed it. The other night I streamed it. Still have not got this damn boar. But we're working on it. And just to let you guys know, if you are watching this YouTube stream uh, after it has been streamed on YouTube, please keep in mind that it is a live stream. So there will be some downtime in between hunts. But right now... Uh, yeah, we're just we're just looking for a wild boar. And it's got to be in this area. Let's see. We got some tracks up here. I doubt it's a wild boar, but we can go and check it out and see what we got right now. If you guys are just coming in the stream, we just started. Thanks for being in here. Appreciate you watching. Feel free to drop what you want to in the chat box. I'm always down for good conversation while out on the hunt. Nick G is in the house. What's up, Nick? Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, dude, I was up late last night. I was here till about, I want to say, 4.30 in the a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, did not get that bore yet. But, dude, always glad to have you on board. Thanks for stopping in. Denny, you made it to a stream, my friend. Thank you for being here. Look at this. We got a Siberian musk deer up around here. So we're going to see if we could go ahead and kill that thing while we're here. Might as well, right? Yep, you did say you would be a regular, my friend. You did. And uh, Canada is going to come right after Florida. I just started working on the Florida videos today. Got myself a bunch of trophy largemouth bass down in Florida and a unique largemouth bass already down in Florida. So I'm pretty excited to... Uh, Start getting to work on throwing that video up here on the YouTube. Gotta be real quiet in this game. As a matter of fact, I should probably reload before I get any further up ahead. And as always, you guys out there viewing, let me know how the sound quality is, the video quality. That way, if there's any issues, I could try to tweak them so I can deliver you the best viewing experience possible. All right, let's see what kind of tracks we got up here. We got tracks and they look like they are moose tracks. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh boy, I hear something out there. You guys hear that? I'm going to jack my volume up just a little bit more. Just heard an animal waltzing around out there. Me talking affects the game. It shouldn't. I don't believe it does. But I just, uh, I want to make sure the levels are getting out to you guys properly. Cinemax, what's going on? Glad to have you in here tonight. Just doing a little hunting in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Glad you could come all along for the ride. Or the hunt, I should say. Wow, we got tracks all over the place in this area. Look at that. I heard a Siberian muscular deer, I think it was, over in this area. Gonna go check it out, see if we got any animals out there. We got tracks up here. I think those are the musk deer tracks. Majdi Alabar, Headlights Fishing Planet. Not sure what that means. Uh, maybe you thought this was Fishing Planet. Not sure. Um, I do stream the Hunter Call of the Wild as well. Uh, yeah, sometimes I do have to be quiet. Tonight, I do not have to be quiet. Tonight, right now, I get to be as loud and boisterous as I want to be. 
And I'm going to take full advantage of that. Only late in the evenings do I have to be really quiet, so. Let's see what kind of, let's see what kind of droppings we have here. Yep, we've got that Siberian musk droppings. I don't see, I don't see it out here. I just heard it, maybe I scared it. Oh boy. We got a bear here. We got a bear going in that direction. Guys, I shot two. Two of them brown bear yesterday in my previous stream. It was it was rather exciting, actually. I thought it was. Um, came up out of nowhere, and they kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I was able to get both of them. So those are brown bear tracks. If you guys are new to this game, just want you guys to keep in mind that it is a slower-paced game. It's not run and gun like Call of Duty or anything like that. It is slower paced. So we are out here hunting very sketchy animals and the slightest sound can spook them off in any direction. So keep that in mind, please. Soon as we get up here, I could check this uh, droppings over here and we can get an idea as to whether or not the animal that left it is in our general area still. Trying to make as little noise as possible. Nope. That one is very old, so it hasn't been here for a while. Oh boy. You guys hear that? Right there. That's our Siberian musk deer. Giving out the warning call. Maybe if we sneak around just right, we could go ahead and pop a shot off on it if we can see it. Just heard him out there. Where did he go? Nick G is going to get the game. Fantastic. It is a really cool game, man. I dig it. Uh, I believe it's $48 on Steam as well. In addition, there is um, this current map that I'm playing is downloadable content. So I think you might have to dish out an extra, I think it's about 15 bucks if you want to play this particular map as well. But it's worth it, I think. Um, the game is really cool. I know I said that like 800 times, but the game is. It really is. It's really cool, guys. I swear. <laughs> no, it really is. Uh, especially if you're a solo player. I play it solo. I like to... There it goes. Did you guys see it? That little son of a... She took off in this direction. Oh, you want to know how you get the hat or headlight in Fishing Planet? No problem, man. I'll fill you in on that. To get the hat or headlight in Fishing Planet, all you have to do is catch 100 fish at nighttime. As soon as it turns night, you catch 100 fish total, and uh, you will unlock that headlight headlamp. And uh, yeah, hope that helps you out, man. Going to move up. That Siberian musk deer is right up here. Be very, very quiet. I am hunting Siberian musk deer. It's got to be up here somewhere. At least that's how I unlocked it, uh, Majdi. I unlocked it by uh, getting 100 fish at nighttime. And I think they were all mainly, uh, mainly walleye. Yeah, the best spot to do that at would probably be on New York and Emerald Lake to get that hit. Fish for walleye at nighttime, and you should, uh, you should unlock it relatively quickly compared to going to other maps. I don't know. I don't know if that Siberian musk deer is still in this area. Where the hell did she go? You are welcome, my friend. You are welcome. Hope it works out for you. All right, I think those are the musk deer tracks up ahead. Excuse me while I take a sip off my coffee. But yeah, Nick, you were saying earlier, uh, you're thinking about getting the game. 
Uh, if you're an outdoorsman type individual, I kind of am. I like to fish. I've never really hunted before in reality, but even if you're not, this game is just, uh, it's pretty cool. Very good graphics. The game is beautiful. Um, can't really tell at nighttime, but yeah, it might be something you'd be interested in, brother. These are moose prints, I believe. Yep. Where in the hell did that Siberian musk go off to? Or maybe it was a moose that was over here. I don't know. I can't remember all their calls specifically. We got a bunch of different directions. Dutch Harry. We got Dutch Harry in the house. What is up, my man? How you doing tonight? We are just doing a little bit of hunting in the hunter called the wild. Glad to... Oh, you guys see it? Boom, basta. It's right there, guys. It is right there. All right, I'm going to get a little closer to it. Try to, anyway. Hopefully we don't spook it. Majesty, no problem, man. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, dude. No problem whatsoever. Dutch Harry likes, man. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Those likes really help me out, guys. You just shot 33 together in Layton. Thir 33, uh... You'll have to elaborate on that, dude. I'm not sure what you mean by that. You shot 33 deer together in Layton? What, what the... Oh, no, no, it's still there. It's right there. Looking right at us. <laughs> Oh boy, she took off out into that forest. I think we got a vital hit on it. Maybe it looks like a lot of blood over there, right guys? We will check this out. We just shot Siberian musk deer. I'm going to creep up on the blood splatter up here. I think we got a vital hit, but I'm not for sure. Usually this gun will drop a Siberian musk. It's a 357 Magnum. Usually it will drop a Siberian Musk in a heartbeat. Let's see what we got here. The blood spatter. It was a vital hit. Fantastic. Is that her? Oh, she's right up there, I think. She did not get very far. 25 to 50. Man, this, this 357 Magnum. Dirty Harry style. Totally, uh... Totally gives these musk deer a bad day. Pardon me, got the hiccups. There she is. Little girl, little, little girly, little girly uh, Siberian musk here. Sorry, darling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you got 33,000 all moose and elk. Whoa, dude, that's a, that's a lot of jack, brother. A lot of cash there, man, congratulations. So there she is. Let's confirm our trophy here. See what we got. She was a female. 29 pounds. Common fur type. One trivial difficulty. No trophy type. No trophy rating. Almost got 100% on the quick kill, but not quite. 100% down the boards on everything else. We got uh, 496 for a score. 136 XP, 722 in cash, Brown's trophy rating, and 100% in the flesh and left lung. She, rest in peace, darling. You will look good and taste good on my dinner plate. All right, guys. Let's see what else we can... Let's see what other kind of damage we can do here in Hunt. Calburn, Calburn. I don't know what that means either, brother. I really don't. Uh, I haven't hunted Leighton yet. And um, that might even be the name of a weapon. I'm not sure. A, a rifle. I don't know that either at this point. Um, this game, no. You do not have to buy licenses. The Hunter Classic on Steam, I heard you do have to get licenses. This particular, Call of the Wild, though, you don't. All right. Um, oh, Dutch. I Wait, hold on. I had a question for you. Oh, I got a mythical bear last night. 
I killed I killed a mythical bear last night. The difficulty rating was eight mythical. And I'm just curious what that means. <laughs> I haven't seen a mythical Wow, that thing just came out of nowhere. Totally scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that was a female moose, guys. That was a female moose. I think we got a vital hit on it as well. I don't know for certain, though. We'll come up here and we'll check it out. Wow, that thing that thing came out of nowhere. Really scared the hell out of me. Let's see what we got up here. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this gun probably isn't the best for moose. I'll tell you that right now. We did get a vital hit on it, though. It is a vital hit. I'm pretty sure that means that uh, it will go down eventually. Just racking up the points on this here uh, 357 Magnum. Took off front. I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Going to let that moose go out there and uh, lay its head down to rest. Guys, let me know if the video is choppy. I'm really not sure how to fix that. If it is. <clears throat> Pardon me, but... Uh, I, I know I hate watching choppy videos, and I'd hate for you guys to have to suffer through a choppy video. So if it's too much, let me know, and I'll see if I can tweak some settings on it. Ooh, it's got a medium blood rate. Wow. I'm pretty surprised at that. Usually, the, well, I was kind of point blank, too, wasn't I? That might be a reason why I got a medium blood rate on it. That's good, actually. That means that it's bleeding out relatively quickly, so we shouldn't have to track it too far. 50 to 75. She's just a run, and I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Fifty to seventy-five. She should be up here, I'd imagine. No, not gonna run. Don't want to scare if there's any other animals out in the area. Don't want to freak him out. Uh, Nick G, the license to hunt stuff. Uh, I did, I did answer it. Um, but it's okay. I can answer it again. No big deal. No, you don't. In this game, you do not have to buy licenses. There is a game on Steam called The Hunter Classic. But, uh, no, you don't have to buy licenses. You just got to buy your weapons and your ammo and your calls and your lures and that kind of stuff. So, uh, who do we got here? Only boss gaming. Last night, the sound was goofed. Really? Which, uh, I, I streamed twice last night. The second stream, I think I had it fixed. I think I streamed that one to about 4.50 in the morning. The one that was earlier on in the evening last night, though. Yeah, the sound was way messed up on that one. So I had to tweak it a bit and uh, get it fixed. I hope, hope it sounds okay for you guys right now. Let's see. She should be dead somewhere up here. She couldn't have gone too much farther. No, it's all right, Nick. No worries. No worries, man. Hey, look at that. We have got a dead female moose up here. Wouldn't you know, one shot. Wow, I'm really surprised. This 357 Magnum brought this moose down. It took a while. Not, not very long at all, actually, for tracking it. Relatively short period of time. But look at that. We got our female moose here. She's right there. Oh, and we got another... We got a brown bear. Oh, dear Lord. There's a brown bear out there. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Cool, cool. We'll confirm our trophy here. Let's take a look real quick. Female, 804 pounds. 
Trophy rating zero, obviously, because she doesn't have any trophy to her. 30% quick kill, which is generally better than I get on Moose. Hundreds down the board for the rest. 384 score. No trophy rating, which is all right. No big deal. 121 XP, 854 cash. We'll go ahead and confirm this trophy. We bagged another animal. And we also have a brown bear in our area. I just heard the damn thing out here. We're going to have to be real careful about that. So I also unlocked a bunch of stuff up there. And quite honestly, I didn't pay any attention to what it said. I should have paid more attention to that. You guys, honestly, the whole point of me being out here right now is to hunt a wild boar. I'm just killing other animals uh, at the moment until we come across the wild boar. So keep that in mind. If you happen to see a wild boar, if you know what it looks like, you see it out here. And I, I don't pay attention to it. Just let me know. Cause you hear that out there? I hear footsteps. Actually, I'm going to kill the light for just a second. Hopefully that's not too dark for you guys. There's the bear. You guys see it? The bear is out there. It's right there. Should we try to kill it? I think we should. Maybe, though, it might be wise for me to switch to my rifle. It's going that way. You guys want to track that bear? Uh, you think it was the first one? Okay, boss. That's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, I think I, I think I got the sound setting switched out after that. There is something in these trees or thicket over here, man. We got all kinds of action in this area. All kinds of action in this area. That bear is not far. Not far at all. Little nervous. Little nervous when there's a brown bear out there. You see me? I do not know. Feed the hungry hip hip ho. It's an old game, old board game from when I was a kid. You guys probably would not remember that. And if you do, that is cool, because that means you're around my age, <laughs> and you'll get my humor. All right. Um, that bear was just out there. I kind of want the bear. kind of want the bear. I said I killed two bear last night. an eye out. That thing's got to be around here somewhere. We'll see if we get any footprints up here for it. These here, I believe, are its footprints. Let's take a look. That's her. We are in the vicinity of a female brown bear. Now, all we have to do is find her without getting killed by her in the process. So I think she I think she is aware that I'm in her vicinity. Skillful DTS, what is up my man? How you doing, dude? Taking a break from Fishing Planet right now for a little bit. I wanted to jump into some Hunter here, Call of the Wild. Right now, dude, we are tracking a brown bear. She's 
She was right over in this area not too long ago. She took off running, it looks like. That looks like moose poo. We got bear poo up there. We also got a rust zone here, and I'm not sure what kind of rust zone it is. War Thunder. Actually, I saw that on Steam, man. I did see that you were playing War Thunder. Which I said, huh, Skillful's playing War Thunder. That's odd. He's usually playing Fishing Planet. <laughs> but that's cool, man. I haven't played War Thunder in a long time. Cool game, though. Yep, that is a moose rest zone. All right. Let's go back to our bear. If you're just coming into the stream, welcome. Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital here. We are just doing some hunting in the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is uh, this is our bear droppings up here. We'll see how long ago it says she was here. Just now. It means she's in this area. You pull up my Hunter mate. She is somewhere around here, guys. Somewhere around here. Gotta be real quiet. So to give you guys an idea, my stealth bar is in the lower right hand corner so you guys can understand. The uh, speaker... Shit, what is that? Oh god, that's the bear. She's over here. Where is she at out there? I don't see her. She heard or saw me, though. Where in the heck is she? Well, that was just slightly frightening. There she is right there, guys. There she is. You see her? She's right there. Zoom in. Let's see if we can get a vital shot on her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um... It's going to be tough to get a vital shot on her from this angle unless I hit her in the spine. She is just coming my way. Okay. She stood up. She's not happy. Heart shot. One more shot. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Hold on one second. That, that was something else. I got to take a breather after that. My God. That was just slightly scary. <laughs> wow. Ooh. You guys will have to pardon me one moment. I'm just lighting up a cigarette for uh, for that kill there. going to congratulate myself. Dutch Harry, thank you for that information, man. Really, they don't give off warning calls and are easily spooked at. Holy cow. So it's, it's a pretty pretty rare thing to uh, to kill one of those? Is that kind of what I'm getting? Yeah, that was frightening, man, to say the least. That was absolutely frightening. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to come up here. We're going to claim this brown bear trophy that we got here. First, I'm going to reload just in case her uh, boyfriend is anywhere out here in the area. All right, let's come up here. Let's see what we got. We've got uh, only boss game. And thank you, buddy. Thank you. I like to admire my uh, my kills before I confirm their trophies, so bear with me as we take a look at her. She looks like one bean bear. One mean bear will confirm the trophy. Female with cinnamon fur type. She's my cinnamon girl. Easy. She was level four easy. That's all right. That's all right. No big deal. Trophy type skull. Uh, she's got a 20 trophy rating. An 89% quick kill bonus we got. Not bad. 100%, 100%, 650 score, 200 XP, 1,263 cash, guys. Holy cow, look at that. The gun that I used, the 270, I hit her in the right lung, or left lung, 
and it that would be a vital hit, I'd imagine, right? But she only get, that only took twenty four percent off. The second shot was like a mosquito bite to her, and that last shot is what finally dropped her with the thoracic spine. Thank God, or thank my hunting skills, I should say, <laughs> that we got that shot on the thoracic spine. Otherwise, we would have been bear meat. We would have been her dinner instead of hers being ours. All right, guys, we're going to confirm that trophy. Let's see what else we could do here. Dun, 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 dun. Really want a wild boar. That is really what I need. Dutch, do you play this map? I forgot, man. I can't remember uh, if you said you've got Medved Taiga or not. Let's see if we come across anything else. I'm looking for a freaking... I'm looking for a wild boar in the Pionier Forest, this whole yellow area here. And I can't seem to come across one, man. I can't find one for the life of me, no matter how hard I try. I just can't find one. It's all right, though. We'll get it eventually. How about this hunting structure? Let's just go ahead and head up there. Maybe we could come across some uh, wild boar in that area. So we got that set. Ah, you play PS4, that's right. That's right, I forgot. No Medved Taiga for you guys yet. As always, guys, everybody, everybody who is in the stream, always thankful to have you guys on board. Just want to let you know that I thank you. Right, so let's see what other, maybe we'll come across something. Oh, boy, these are Eurasian Lynx tracks, guys. Can tell that from a distance. Yep. That's a Eurasian Lynx. That is a Eurasian lynx. Those things are hard to hunt. Especially at nighttime. I'm not going to bother with that right now. I really need to just get my wild boar. Anything out here? We got some tracks over there. Eurasian lynx tracks. If we pick up the track of the Eurasian lynx on the way up here, we might try to track it, but I doubt we will. Those things are sly like fox, except they're lynx. And not only are they lynx, they're Eurasian lynx. No, I'm not Asian. You're Asian. <laughs> oh, you guys got to bear with me. Sometimes I get really bored. Here I am out here in Medved Taiga. We are hunting. Hunting, hunting, hunting. I know it looks like a hike, but 430 yards really isn't all that bad. Really not that bad. It's just about four and a quarter football fields. Nothing your average person can't walk. Wow, I can't believe I got a mythical, man. That's really cool. Really cool. Oh boy, we got a Eurasian Lynx male mating call, guys. He's right around in this area. And guess what I have for it? Just in case. I got myself this little thing. Listen to the sound of that. Sounds absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Man, that's a gorgeous sounding call. How enticing is that, right? If you were a Eurasian lynx out there and you heard this... Come on, go ahead and do it. Come on, stupid controller. Oh, you're kidding me. You, gotta, you ruined my dramatic build up there. The stupid... Using the controller is a little bit glitched sometimes, obviously. We gotta switch. Come on, what are you, stupid thing? Quit. What the hell's going on here? If 
Finally, my lord. If that's not a game glitch, I don't know what is. Okay, let's try that again. There's a Eurasian Lynx out there, and I got this for it. There we go. Now, if you were a Eurasian Lynx out there, and you were in the mood, and you might be a little bit hungry, you'd hear that jackrabbit caller. And you'd probably want to make your way towards it for supper time. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. <laughs> yeah, right? I think it's this Xbox controller. Whenever I plug it in, I get all kinds of glitches in this game. Nug took your life. What is up, man? Glad to see you in the stream tonight, buddy. Long time no talk. How you doing, man? Here, little Mr. Eurasian Lynx. We saw you were out there. So I'm going to go up. Oh, man, there's not much cover in this area. That is too damn bad. Let's try calling it towards us again. Unless we creeped it out, we might have creeped it out. Now, guys, these Eurasian lynx are very, very, very hard to hunt. Very hard to hunt. They're harder to hunt than fox and coyote, supposedly, but they're kind of in that same category of animals. So Dutch may have an idea as to what I mean as far as how difficult killing coyotes and red fox can be sometimes. These Eurasian lynx are even more difficult. To hunt than them. Let's see, we might be able to get it to come around this area. Yes, Dutch, I did. I killed the mystical. I killed it. I didn't realize it was a mystical actually until after I killed it. <laughs> I think the highest difficulty rating I've come across is hard, I think. And uh, when I saw that mystical rating, I was like, holy shizzle. This thing, I've never come across a mystical yet. And the odd thing was it was only a silver trophy rating too, which kind of blew my mind a little bit. Oh, I see that? Hear that? Hear that? We just had something in this area. Maybe it's our Eurasian lynx. Oh boy, it's right out there. You guys hear it? It is in the mood. Maybe, just maybe we can get the drop on this thing. We're pretty good. We're not making much noise at all. I hear something tromping around out there. What the hell? I just heard that thing out here. Not to mention, guys, your Asian lynx are really small animals compared to the rest. And they've got like a white colored fur, so they blend in with the area very easily. It 
it's around you. There it is, guys. There it is. Ah, I should have took the shot. I should have took the shot. This damn controller is so difficult to get your breath and steady the aim. Man, how do you guys do this on console? I'll never freaking understand. Oh, I should have went to mouse and keyboard. I should have went to mouse and keyboard. Ah, uh, you think it was a silver because it didn't drop on the spot? That's very possible, man. Very possible. I thought the trophy rating had to do with the size of, like, the skull or the antlers or whatnot, but you could be right on that, too. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Thanks for that information, man. Thank you for that information. That is good information to have there. Son of a biscuit, we lost that Eurasian lynx. Damn it. I should have taken the shot. I can't. I love I love the Xbox controller, except when it comes down to aiming and uh aiming, pretty much aiming and holding your breath and steadying your shot. I'll be honest with you, mouse and keyboard is so much easier to do that with. <laughs> Son of a bitch, that thing took off, but I don't see any more tracks for it. Unless that's it up here. Man, I should have taken that shot. So bogus. So bogus, I should have taken the shot. When right there we got what? What is that right there? A Siberian musk? What do we got there? Oh no, that's just a log. <laughs> Thought that was an animal. Let's try calling it in again. Sometimes I shut the light off because it sometimes it's actually easier to make out the animals in the silhouettes than it is uh, with the light on. There is something out there, and I think it probably is a Eurasian lynx. You guys hear it tromping out there? We're just going to sit here for a little bit. There's something making its way towards us, but... Something making its way towards us. Could still be spooked from when it last saw me here. That's a very good possibility. That was it. That was our Eurasian lynx. I don't even know if I hit the damn thing, to be honest with you. Oh, man. I don't know if I hit it. I think I did, but... Well, it looks like we got some blood, actually, up here. Let's take a look at what we got. Ah, it's a non-vital hit, but it's still, you can still die from it, so it's just gonna affect our, I think our integrity rating. So let's track this thing and see, uh, see if it goes down eventually. 
going to reload. All right. I shot the damn thing with the 357 mag, but it still had time to take a dump. Not only one, but two. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right, let's come up here. We got, uh, this will tell us what the bleed rate is. Low bleed rate. Um, I don't know. Still might die on us, which would be good, which would be a good thing. Still might die on us without us having to fire off another shot at it. I think I might have hit it like in the shoulder, the scapula area or something like that. Come up here. Guys, if you're just joining the stream, we just shot a Eurasian lynx, a very difficult animal to hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild. We just shot one. It was a non-vital hit, but it's still bleeding relatively well. And, uh, yeah, we're tracking its blood trail now, and we're going to try to find... We're going to try to find it and claim it as a trophy. Yeah, it's bleeding pretty good. It's only at 50 to 75% right now. Not bad at all. See if we can make our way towards it. It's a running still. Run, 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 run away. Run, 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 run away. All right, let's come up here. We have got more blood trail up here. Look at that. 25 to 50%. This Eurasian lynx, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. It's going to go down pretty soon. We should be coming across its body, I'd assume, relatively soon. Got here, boom, 25 to 50 still, not bad. Yep, and there we go, guys. Check it out, if you can't see, it's highlighted in the green silhouette. We have got, we have got a freaking Eurasian lynx. All right. Gotta love these things, man. I've only killed one of other Eurasian lynx, and that was a pain in the patootie to actually kill. Guys, let's take a look at our trophy here. Here it is. Passed out. Latest little head down to die. That's what they look like. They look like a... They almost look like some kind of weird cat with super long legs. Look at that thing there. Thanks, Harry. Actually, this one looks rather large. Let's confirm the trophy and see what we got here. Uh, it was a female. Common. Difficulty was only trivial. Wow. Usually these things are at least minimum. A uh, quick kill bonus we didn't get. We still got a 100% integrity, 100% consecutive harvests. No trophy rating on this thing. I'm really, really surprised. Wow. No trophy rating whatsoever. Huh. 384 score. 133 XP. But look at that, though. Almost paid as much as the bear. Almost paid as much as the bear. We got $1,129 out of that. 100% shot in the intestines. Wow, I must have hit it at an angle. I really didn't think I came at it at that angle. But that's all right. It's all right. We got close. We got a grand. We got one grand. One G out of it. So we'll go ahead and claim it. And yeah, let's take a look at our bankroll. We've got $7,000 in the bank. Yeah, with a handgun, man. With a handgun. Usually they don't get that close to you, those those uh, those Eurasian lynx. It's really, that's what I'm saying. It's really difficult to hunt them because they got great eyesight. And it's uh, pretty proud that we just killed that thing, even though it was only a trivial difficulty rating. Now, let's see if we can build this hunting structure up here. 
And maybe we can get ourselves that Bebop wild boar that I've been trying to hunt for the past week. Dutch, have you played, uh, have you played Hirschfelden yet? Have you played the maps on Hirschfelden? I'll tell you what. I'm starting it back up, Hirschfelden 2, and, uh, there's a mission where you gotta kill a fox with a bow. And I, I completed that mission. Unfortunately, when I got Medved Taiga, I accidentally restarted my game. And so I'm gonna have to complete that mission one more time, but, uh, yeah, that was a pretty difficult mission, and I was just curious if you had a chance to play that one or not. Guys, if you're just coming in, welcome to the stream. Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital, just playing a little bit of the Hunter Call of the Wild. And welcome to the hunt. Glad to have you here. Okay, yeah, you played Hirschfeld? Yeah, I like that map. I really do. It's probably the it's probably the prettiest map out there so far. But uh I really dig the color in that map. It's it's really nice. This map's cool too, but it's a little bland, you know, you're walking around. It's all white and grays and browns, but it's realistic. I'll give it that much. Ah, you got some red deer there. I have yet to go out hunting specifically for the red deer. But though, that's like the that's like the big deer out there. Those things are nice. Let's see what we got here. We got a moose, female moose mating call. All right, what have we racked up so far? We've got uh, we got one musk deer, I think, right? We got one female moose, and we got one female Eurasian lynx, I believe. So. I guess we're doing all right. Nothing. Oh, we got the bear. How could I forget the bear? We got a female bear as well. I think we got about three or four animals so far on this hunt. Let's see if we can get some more. I just want to make it up to this structure, guys. Build it up. And I want to get me some wild boar. Moving along. It's a wide open area. It's possible we might see something out there just by uh, just by taking a look. Might come across something out there. Possibility. Is there anyone out there? I do not see anything. I was hoping we might spot something out there, but doesn't look like we're going to today. It's all right. Gonna head to our hunting structure and build it up. By the way, guys, if any of you are new to the Hunter Call of the Wild, have never played it, um, just to let you know that it is a slower paced game. It is not very fast paced. We're hunting animals here that get spooked very easily, so you got to move slowly and quietly, which results in quite a bit of downtime in the game, action-wise. So if you're new and have never played it, please keep that in mind. There is our hunting structure there, off in the distance. I don't even know if there's a... Uh, I don't even know if there is any boar in this area. But I'm running out of options. I've been all over this Pionier forest. Pianani or however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But I've been all over this forest and have yet to come across any boar. And the mission calls for me to kill a boar here. Which is proving to be quite difficult. That's a female moose out there. She is right there. See that? You guys barely see her. She's moving her way through the forest there. 
Right there. I'm not too worried about her though. I want a boar. I need a boar. All right, let's go ahead. 1500, we'll build this up. We just built our hunting structure here. Let's go ahead and get inside of it. Got 100 XP just for building our structure. Look at this, we are secluded. Hopefully if there's anything out there, it'll have a difficult time seeing us compared to if we were just out in the open. All right, nothing out there. Now I've got a wild boar call. I have yet to use it. If there's any wild boar out there, which there may be, I don't know honestly offhand. Maybe they'll come into us. So let's go ahead and try that. Busted rubber. We got busted rubber in the house. What is up, man? Glad to have you in here, dude. All right, let me see. Dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun let's see what we got here. We can go to inventory. And we will bump the Lua's wild boar call. We'll put it in position six. We'll bust that thing out. Now keep in mind, I've never used this thing before, so I don't know what it sounds like. Let's try it. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that sounds vicious, doesn't it? Squeal. Squeal like a piggy. <laughs> oh, man. That is a brutal sounding call. Just devastating. But it might call something in. We're not sure. We're going to chill out here for just a little bit, guys. We're going to chill out here and see if we can get something that walks by. Hopefully a wild boar. Um, while I'm waiting in this deer stand or this uh, hunting shelter. Pardon me. I'm going to take a five minute break. Nature calls. But I will be back within five minutes. Guys, don't go anywhere. We're to more hunting action in five minutes. Stick around. And we will see you back here in five. All right, guys, I will be right back. 